people often stunned by some of the comments I can make about our culture and about our team and about our work pace and that sort of thing. Uh, so for instance, I tell people we only work 40 hours a week here and we never work weekends. Now they find that part hard to imagine, but then I tell them, and in 10 years, we've never had to deny a vacation request. Now to them, they just can't even imagine that part of it. And why is this? Because if I have my team working in pairs, two to a computer, and one of them needs to go away for a family emergency. I haven't lost all the thinking on that. I can bring a new person in because we practice onboarding people every week. It's easy to bring a new person up to speed. And it's very likely that these people have already worked in this piece of the code already based on the way we're moving people around over time. So what this means is I'm not building those singular towers of knowledge and people aren't trapped like a prison in a section that only they know anything about. Out. It also gives me a distinct advantage that almost no organization like mine can claim, and that is I can regularly break Brooks Law. Brooks Law tells us you cannot add new people to a team, it'll only slow the project down. I can add new people in. I take four programmers who are working on a project, and the next week I split those four apart. I put four new programmers in, and suddenly I'm scheduling twice as much work for that team and getting almost twice as much done. Most organizations would tell me, Rich, what you've just described is impossible. Not if you work at it every day, not if you create the right system and environment, and not if you have a team that knows how to onboard new people all the time.